What's going on YouTube? Geosun right here. So in today's video we're discussing an important update for alt store users. It's an important update because it fixes a major issue that prevents you from being able to refresh your applications to resign them. We're gonna get to that in a couple of seconds. This video is brought to you by PassFab iPhone Unlock, a software that allows you to reset the forgotten iOS passcode screen, remove Apple ID, remove the forgotten screen time passcode and even bypass MDM. All you have to do is connect your device and in just a couple of clicks you will be able to reset your passcode if you forgot it. The program is available for both Windows and Mac OS. A free trial is available. iOS 16 is also supported. It does support iOS 15 as well. And you can definitely check it out in the link below. Right now they currently have a giveaway. It's a 20% off sale basically PassFab Happy Easter event and you can get the program much cheaper. As I said, it supports Windows and Mac OS and it does support newer devices as well. Definitely check it out in the link below, especially if you forgot your passcode on your device or if your kid or somebody else accidentally set a passcode on your device and they don't remember it anymore. So a couple of days ago, the altstore.io account posted this important update. They said, quote, altstore 1.6.2 is now available for everyone. This update fixes the no provisioning profile with the requested identifier error. Now this is the big error that this update addresses. If you try to refresh your applications and stuff like that and you had issues, then that's the problem. If it said no provisioning profile with the requested identifier, then you need to update Altstore. But unfortunately you can't just update this application from inside the Altstore like you used to do until now. You will have to install this manually via a computer. So you're gonna have to head to altstore.io, get the version for either Windows Windows or Mac OS depending on what you use and then follow the steps in here on the screen. Press the install Altstore to your device, connect with your Apple ID and then you will be able to actually update Altstore on your device. But very important, do not remove the apps that you have installed with Altstore that have expired. Even though they expired and they say they're no longer available and you couldn't update them because Altstore is broken, you should keep them because once you update Altstore with a computer, you will be able to refresh those applications even if it says zero days remaining and even if you can't open them anymore. This way you can preserve their data. If you remove them, the data will be lost as well. So don't do that. Just replace Alt Store and then refresh the applications that you have side loaded. So for example, if you have Uncover or any of the McDirty Cow tools, for example, Cowabunga or WDB Remove Tree App Limit or Files Escape, WDB Font Override, Send Tender, Troll Tools, Troll Box, any of these, you can now side load them back again with this update to Alt Store. This update was released a couple of days ago, I somehow missed it, but I wanted to make a video just in case some of you still have the no provisioning profile with requested identifier error. So yep, that's basically it, definitely go ahead and update your alt store right now. It would fix that issue and you will be able to start sideloading your jailbreak apps or mcdirty cow apps once again. But do keep in mind that this update requires a computer in order to fix the issue. Thank you for watching, I'm Geosnow, peace out.